Hey everyone, JWR here. I'm looking over this SOPA incident that everyone's going on about. SOPA, for those of you who don't know, is the Stop Online Piracy Act. Let me put down the definition that they have on Wikipedia for some reason. I don't know why it's up here. I, I thought they had a blackout against it. Apparently they put it up here. I don't know why. SOPA is a U.S. House bill to fight online trafficking in copyrighted intellectual property and counterfeit goods. Okay, let's just stop there. Let's just stop there. Intellectual, uh, tra uh, trafficking, copyrighted intellectual and counterfeit goods. AKA the copyright agreement. Don't they already have that? The only thing different about the SOPA right now that I'm seeing from that first line is the movement of things that have broken the copyright agreement. That's what I'm saying right now. That is what I'm saying right now. But let's keep reading on and let's see if there's something else that's causing this big upstir that apparently the U.S. House decided to smash into the copyright agreement again. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just continue on. Proposals include barring advertisement, uh, advertising networks and payment facilities from conducting business with allegedly infringing websites, barring search engines from linking, oh, barring search engines from linking to the sites, and requiring internet service providers to block access to the sites. The bill will criminalize the streaming of such content with a maximum penalty a five years prison. So if you got bootleg shit in the back of your car, you will be in prison for five years according to the copyright agreement. And SOPA just says, we will now check your car because it might be in your car as opposed to in your house. Or perhaps they're aiming more for, I think it's torrent, torrent bit or whatever, or those free show sites or whatever, and that's probably what they're aiming for. I hope it's still, I, I hope it's not affecting Hulu. I know quite a few people who still use Hulu. I'm hoping it doesn't hurt Hulu. Let, let's just continue on. Maybe 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 I'm maybe I'm prematurely freaking out. Let's, let's hope not. Let, let's just continue on. User content websites such as YouTube will be greatly affected, and concern has been expressed that they may be shut down if the bill becomes law. Why? You put a movie on YouTube that's been copyrighted. You know there's a high probability that because the movie is copyrighted and you don't own that movie, that they can come after you. That's a given. Why did I have to go over it again? Okay, let me rephrase that. They can come after you if you make money. Apparently, in this case, people are going to be trying to make money, so again, it's over the copyright shit. Why do we need to repeat it? I'll continue on. I'll continue on with the first part until it gets down to the contents, then we'll figure out if what the fuck they're trying to say is what I think they're trying to say. But so far, all I'm getting is copyright agreement shit. That's all I'm getting! It's going to stop websites from allowing you to put copyright shit on there and getting paid for it. You're no longer allowed to get paid to put on X-Men 3 on YouTube and say, hey, if you want to see what happens next in this scene, pay me $10. Why would you do that in the first place? I don't know, because it's copyright material. You're not supposed to do that in the first fucking place, because the prior fucking thing that we have up here in 1998, I think it was, or 97, 97, 98, 99, one of those years, before 2000, that there's a copyright law stating you shouldn't be doing this shit in the first place, and watch the pri Hell, even in the movies, they even say in the beginning of the movie, watch out for piracy. You wouldn't steal a car, would you? Then don't buy pirated movies. It's already there! It's already there! Why? 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 Why do we need another one that says the exact same shit? Why? 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 I don't get it. Why? 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 
This is the exact same bullshit that is covered in the copyright shit. I'm pretty positive it should be cop. It should already be there. Let's just continue reading. And like I said, maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe it's just not matching. Of course, it's only according to Wikipedia.org. It's only according to Wikipedia. So, maybe there's stuff left out that I don't notice. But I'm just covering the basics that they have on here. That, that, that's all. Opponents state the legislation would enable law enforcement to remove an entire internet domain due to something posted on a single blog. Okay. Arguing that an entire online community could be punished for the actions of a tiny minority. You're kidding, right? Okay. So by law of association, the cultists or whatever that kill themselves in Waco, Texas. You're saying, by association, that all of Texas should be watched over for suicide rates. I am, am, I, am I catching this? Is this what is this what it's implying? One small group does it? Okay, I'll watch the entire state. Why? Because someone in Texas did it. I just moved to Texas last week. I don't give a shit. Is that what they're trying to say? That's just my association. Is that what they're trying to say? I... I We're going to continue down. But you're going to continue down. My head hurts. We're just going to continue down. Back to that. In a 1998 law, copyright owners are... 98? No, I know. Copyright owners are required to request the site to remove the infringing material within a certain amount of time. What, two weeks? Two minutes? Five years? What, 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 are we, what are we talking? SOPA would bypass this. Yeah, no shit. Safe Arbor provision by placing the responsibility for detecting and policing the infringement onto the site itself. So. Let's see if I got this straight. If you got people, let's say, 500 people post things. You're going to need how many people working just to post, uh, just to look at all the new shit being posted? Just so you're certain that there is no chance in God's green earth there's nothing infringing in the fucking videos? Is that what I'm getting? And whether they're not going, whatever they're putting a video up there. Like I do for clips. Like I put random clips in my videos that affect this thing I'm stating. What if... I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. What if I put something on there with a clip from, say, X-Men 2 and Wolverine's like clicking someone off and someone sees it and they go, Oh! I remember that from a movie! And then they come at me because it's from a movie! And... What? You're telling me YouTube had to go through all my videos by default just to make sure there is nothing from a movie, nothing from a cartoon, and nothing from anything else. Am I right about this? Not like I'm trying to get, like I said, I'm not trying to get money off of this. What the fuck, people? What about the people who've already done spoofs? What? I'm, I'm not. What about Scary Movie? I, 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 oh, damn, my head hurts. Head hurts. Brain melting. Touch it's fleeting. I keep dropping. The stupidity of what this is saying. Put it in association. Beating brain into mush. Ah! 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 Brain! 
leaking into my feet! Uh, uh, well, not be beaten by stupidity this day. Well, not be beaten by stupidity this day. Uh, chair. Uh. Okay. Be one stupidity zero. I will not be KO'd by stupidity. Though that was damn close. Association sucks. Alright. Let's finish the rest of this crap. I'm not even going to think about the rest of it. I'm just going to finish reading it and then we can discuss the rest of it. I took 10 minutes to suffer through this and I've only got down two paragraphs. Fuck that. I'm speeding through the rest of this before my brain melts into ooze as it's trying to remend itself. <clears throat> Lobbyists for companies that rely heavily on revenue from intellectual property copyright state it protects the market and corresponding industry, jobs, and revenue. The U.S. president and legislators suggest that it may kill innovation. Yeah, no shit. Representatives of the American Library Association. Do we have one of those? We do have nice things. <laughs> state the changes could encourage criminal prosecution of libraries. What the fuck? Finish reading, then we'll worry about that later. Other opponents state that requiring search engines to delete a domain name begins a worldwide arms race of unprecedented censorship of the web and violates the First Amendment. No fucking duh, Captain Obvious. The bill could make some proxy servers and the Tor project illegal. What the fuck's the Tor project? I ah! Focus! On January 18th, the English Wikipedia, Reddit, and several other websites coordinated a service blackout to protest SOPA and its sister bill, the Protect IP Act, or PIPA. Oh lord, I don't want to look up PIPA. Other companies, including Google, posted links and images in an effort to raise awareness. An estimated 7,000 smaller websites either blacked out their sites or, protest, uh, or posted a protest message. A number of other protest actions were organized, including petition drives, boycotts of companies that support this legislation, and a rally held in New York City. Only New York City, just like the barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce is made in New York City. New York City! Yes, New York City held a fucking rally. That is awesome. Now, now that I've cleared the all other two paragraphs quickly, and in under three minutes as opposed to ten, the fuck am I reading? We can punish libraries. Why? Because there's a book of the movie that was based off of the book. It... Gun! I need a gun! The right to bear arms. Another one of my... We can't have nice things read. Coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. Anyway, moving along, right along. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? No, hold on. Let, let, let's find out what the Pippa is. Hold on, I, I gotta look at Pippa. I, I, I gots to know. I gots to know. Oh, this one's a lot shorter, and I'll make it quickly read. The Protect IP Act, preventing real online threats to economy, creativity, and theft of Intellectual Property Act of 2011, or Pippa. Also known as Senate Bill 968. I didn't know we have a Senate Bill number. It is a proposed law with the state goal uh, the stated goal of giving the US government and copyright holders additional tools to curb access to rogue sites dedicated to infringing on the counterfeit goods, especially especially those registered outside the US. Especially. That doesn't mean it's not it's not just the US. It's this is focused more outside the U.S., but the U.S. can still get fucked over about this. So, 
focus. Yes, Quentin Tarantino, I did just do the boxing. I apologize. Please don't sue me and please don't hit me with Pippa. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Moving right along. The bills are reduced in May 12th. Oh, May 12th. What the fuck? Oh, 2011. Okay, maybe I should learn to read a little bit ahead. Of <laughs> the bills are induced on May 12th, 2011, by Senator Patrick Le Le Ooh, I'm going to butcher his name. He's a Democrat, though. I'm going to butcher his name. Lehi, le le Lehi, Lee, L E A H Y. Lehi, Lehi. I'm horrible with names. Hell, I looked at rice the first time I said rice. And so it, 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 this is just not that bad compared to that. Trust me. Anyway, moving on. And 11 bipartisan co sponsors. So, pretty much 12 motherfuckers decided this was a good idea. The Congressional ah, the Congressional Budget Office estimated that implementation of the bill would cost the federal government $47 million through 2016 to cover enforcement costs and the hiring and training of 22 new special agents and 26 support staff. The Senate Judiciary Co Committee passed the bill but Senator Ron, why, oh, let's see, names. I'm going to go with a W Y D E N. Ron Wyden. I'm going with Wyden. Fuck it. Placed a hold on that. Good for him. Very good. The Pippa Act. The Pippa Act? <laughs> How about the Pip Act? It's too close to pimp. I don't give a fuck. Fine, Pippa. It's a rewrite of the. Combating Online Infringement and Counterfeit Act, C O I C A, Quica. Kind of like Quica Vision. No, not really. Which failed to pass in 2010. It failed the first time. Let's rewrite it and try it again. What? Whatever. Moving on. A similar House version of the bill, the Stop Online Privacy Act, aka SOFA, which I was just covered in the first 10 minutes of this shit was introduced in October 26, 2011. In the wake of online protests held on January, two, nine, eh, bad, bad, January 18, 2012, on January 20th, Senate Majority Leader Harold Reid, 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 R-E-I-D, Reid, Reid, whatever, announced that a vote scheduled for January 24th will be postponed until people calm the fuck down and then they can come back to it. All right, so let's see if I got this straight. Pippa here. Pippa. The main tool, the main objective of Pippa is to give people more tools to stop other areas from fucking with their shit. In a nutshell, you wouldn't buy a stolen car. Or you wouldn't steal a car, you wouldn't steal a purse. So why would you steal a movie? Don't buy private movies. Or pirated movies. That's about what this covers. The only difference with this is it's going to pay a lot more attention to the motherfuckers outside the US, but then they're going to look at the US too. It's just like, Mwah. What I think they need to do is put down some concrete shit, put down some examples to say exactly what they are attempting to do. Because from what I'm reading from this, what it's translating to me, what I'm reading from this, is they're trying to protect copyrighted material. Like if a new movie comes out and someone bootlegs the shit and they sell the bootleg. They're trying to stop the bootleg shit. They're trying to stop the bootlegs from getting on to, say, YouTube and all that. That's what I think they're trying to mean. They, they're not going to have you sit there and watch the Underworld Awakening, bootlegging the shit, and then post it to YouTube five minutes later so everyone can watch the movie before it comes out into their little area. Although, by the time this is up, Underworld Awakening should be out. See how I cover my ass? 
<sighs> I, I don't understand why they need more stuff over the copyright shit. We're not catching everybody. You're never going to catch everybody. That, that, that's the way it works. <sighs> My head hurts just thinking about this shit. See, this is just what I see from here. Now, I can also see where the defense comes in, where it's easy, it's easy for them to go, oh, there's a spoof on YouTube about Dragon Ball Z. Find the fuckers. Take it down, find the fuckers, and deal with them. And they got five people sitting there for five years in jail because they made a spoof about Dragon Ball Z. I mean, hell, some people are known for making their spoofs. Eager Raptor, Dragon Four, uh, Team Four Star, Nim, the people like them, but they have spoofs. Hell, even Ryan Haga has a spoof where he's making fun of fuck. He's making fun of Final Destination, but because he used the name, are they going to throw a fit on him? I mean, seriously, what the hell is with this? I think they're trying a little too hard here. Just a little bit, just a touch. I do agree, to a point, that yes, pirated shit needs to stop. I do understand that. I understand that parting is bad. I understand. But it's going to happen, no matter what you do. It's going to happen. There's going to be people that either cannot access things, so they're going to find a way, or they're going to pirate shit. It's just going to happen. It's always happened. Uh, R with a hat and uh, swashbuckling and uh, aha, I'm Johnny Depp. Uh, no, no, not even the Johnny Depp thing. It's just, it happens. It happens. I understand that they want to stop it. Cool, I get that. But at the same time, if you don't wear things precisely, they leave holes open to where you just fuck things over, and then you can turn it into like how Korea had their issue with either Facebook or YouTube or something, where they try to put something up. And it got squashed immediately. Because the government said, no, no, motherfucker, no, 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 no. And they cut it. And then they started saying, hey, you know what? Fuck that. Nobody in this country can do that shit. Nobody. Gone. Y'all can't have nice things. Fuck it. That's what this looks like it could easily line up to do. That's just my opinion. Maybe I'm misinterpreting. But without concrete things done, and without the actual build in my hand to look at, it, it would... I don't know, it seems detrimental. And there's so much shit that can happen, and if you don't have things covered 100%, it's going to backfire. Any shit. Everything that people say about Obama, if it was put in a movie, guess what? That whole movie's fucking scrubbed. If you bootleg the part of that movie and have it on YouTube, see, like, say, see, it even says here that it sucks. And it happens. And the government sees it and they go, oh, you are fucked twice. Because not only did you watch this bullshit, but you put it on the internet. And you have pirated it. This scene from a movie. And yada, 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 and five fucking years. Really? Now, I did state something earlier about Tor. From the SOPA agreement bullshit thing. This is Tor. This is their definition. I'm just going to go right through it because I, I don't give a fuck right now. Tor is short for the Onion Router. This is a system intended to enable online anonymity, aka they don't know exactly who the fuck you are. Tor client server uh, software routes internet traffic through a worldwide volunteer network of servers in order to conceal a user's location or usage from anyone conducting network surveillance or traffic analysis. Using Tor makes it more difficult to trace internet activity, including visits to websites, online posts, instant messages and other communication forms back to the user and is intended to protect the user's personal freedom, privacy, and ability to conduct 
uh, confidential business by keeping their internet activities from being monitored. Onion routing refers to the layered nature of the encryption service. The original data are well, the original data are. <clears throat> and the grammar please, but that just sounds wrong. I'm going verbatim. Sounds wrong though. The original data are encrypted and re-encrypted multiple times, then sent through success successes? Successive? Successive. Successive. I guess that's the word. Through successive Tor relays, each one with uh, each one of which decrypts a layer of encryption before passing on the data to the next relay and ultimately to its destination. This reduces the possibility of the original data being unscrambled or understood in transit. Right! Gotcha! Gotta go! Alright. So, in a nutshell, Swiss Bank. Uh, <laughs> I should have done that when I started role playing. That's how. The, when I started role playing on Facebook, that's why I showed up. I should have routed it, rerouted it, and overrouted it, and underrouted it, and rerouted it, and over that, 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 that way, and that, that, the north by the northeast, and southwest, and park in reverse, while going forward at 900 miles an hour. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Between SOPA, PIPA, and all this happy stuff with the copyright. I'm sorry, they put it in movies now, where they try to convince you not to buy pirated movies. They, they, they try. They try. They put it up there. They say, please don't buy copyrighted material from pirated sources. And yet, we have two other things that are trying to be pushed into passing because they decided not to word it properly, and they want to set everyone else up to be deleted like in Korea. Right! Perfect! In my computer said ding! Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That doesn't make sense! I'm, I'm like, I know it doesn't make sense, but it's up here. It says right here. It's right there. So, am I against this? Yeah. I'm very much against this. I don't care what anyone else says. I'm against it for the simple fact of y'all setting us up to be just like in the Korean, the Korea incident. Where someone put something up and the whole country said, fuck this, no one can do it. You're done. Finished. The detour. Fatality. You're done. Copyright it. Uh, I'm going to go over some quick examples. Because it's almost 30 minutes already. And probably over 30 minutes after I added title and do some editing or some shit. I apologize. But let's just break up. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going over some quick stuff. People who've done spoofs. On YouTube, if they spoofed anything that has already been owned, they're under surveillance. People who role play canon characters and use pictures of the canon characters that they have not drawn themselves put themselves in danger of this. People who made collection videos to imply something else, like Raditz Beaton Frieza. And they put it up there. They're in trouble. People who wrote little short stories or lemons or whatever other fan fiction combination words that they have. Lemon is one of them. can't remember what the hell it is. But it's lemon. I just know it is lemon and I know it is normal fanfics. So lemon is probably like the hentai version of a fanfic. I'm, I'm just that's just guessing because if it's separated like that, like there's anime and there's hentai. If they're separated that way, there's gotta be a reason. So with that logically stated, logic and common sense, I shouldn't be using those. With that logically stated, those sites that have those stories are screwed as well. Why? Maybe not under Sofa, but under Pippa. Sorry, not under Sofa, but Pippa. People would definitely crack, crack their ass. No, I'm sorry, I take it back. It would probably be more likely under SOPA as opposed to Pippa, because Pippa is, hey, we don't want you to pirate anything. 
And then SOPA is, oh, if it's on, online, if it's online, then you're fucked. So if you made a spoof and you put the spoof online, you're fucked. I, I, I just don't get this, people. <coughs> they're starting, they're starting basic. Well, we don't want anything pirated. I get that. I, I do. I understand that you want to protect the companies and all the stuff that they're making. I, I do understand that. I do. I do. I really do. First thing you're going to have to do would be to take away their ability to record said things to get it to be pirated. That's going to be the major issue. But you know, people will still sneak shit in. It'll probably be like a crotch camera or some shit. But people still they'll still get it in there and they'll still pirate the shit. It's just the way these things are actually worded, it can very easily come back to bite everyone else in the ass if they've roleplayed any canon characters, if they made any spoofs. Hell, even if you have a site where the picture happens to be a canon picture. Hell, my fucking channel is screwed because it has a picture of 17. Of course, it's not cocky. But I felt that was the best picture to describe my channel. So I used it. Am I getting money off this? No, I'm not. Am I going out there selling Dragon Ball Z videos? No, I'm not. But in the same regard... You're starting on something that's, like, like I said, it's, I'm going to bring up the Korean incident a lot because that the way they did it was left field. I mean, literally, it was like, someone puts up on YouTube and all of a sudden, uh, y'all can't do this, 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 and this. Just because one thing happened. One thing. That's where this seems to be going. It doesn't sound like it right off the bat, but that's where it seems like it's going. It's, it's starting pretty, uh, starting pretty evil. Okay, I understand taking it off of Google, like fakemovie.com, if that's a real place, or piratemovie.net, or some shit like that. Okay, cool. I can see why you want to block those. I get that. I do. That I understand. Full throttle. I get that. You're trying to stop piracy. Good for you. In the same regard. Now, some companies out there that look like they're fucking insane. I mean, hell, if I had a pirated company, I'd probably hide it as Pink Pineapple. That's just me personally. I'd have to fucking color the name together. I'd, Pink Pineapple. Uh, golden Grape. Fucking... Bronze banana? Uh, shit! Anything! Wow, all those sound perverted. Ugh, focus! Anyway, <laughs> I would throw out there some company name like that. But of course, you no, know, my luck, there probably is a company called Pink Pineapple. Or Bronze Banana. Or whatever else I said. Or the Crimson Citrus. <laughs> Just a pink pineapple. Apparently, I can't spell pineapple. Wow! <laughs> oh, shit. Bronze banana. For future reference, people, if you want to make a company name, Bronze Banana is still open. But not Pink Pineapple. Pink Pineapple is actually a hentai company. <laughs> Ooh. Now I know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Oh, see, now I'm in trouble again. This could be the start of something very, very bad. 
and mark me on this one, if it does come to pass, there will be some major shit happening. And then we will not have nice things anymore. <sighs> Good night, everybody.